Welcome to another edition of the 9mm Ammo Quest, where I'm looking for the best performing round for the SIG P938 or comparable, such as the Diamondback DB9 or any 9mm that has a 3 inch barrel. And in my initial rounds of testing, I'm looking at the Hornady lineup. I've got Hornady Critical Duty already done in a, in a video. You can look in my other videos and find that one. And Hornady Custom will be coming up. But today's, we're looking at Hornady Critical Defense. Critical Defense is uh, very similar to Critical Duty in that they have the red polymer tip, but this is the one that's designed for personal home defense. Critical Duty is designed for law enforcement officers, hence why it says duty in it. Critical Defense is for personal protection. It's a lighter bullet. It's about 115 grains. Some people seem to think that you know obviously because critical duty is made for law enforcement it must be better than critical defense and you know it is different it is heavier it is optimized for going through barriers like auto windshields automobile glass or or automobile doors or such but just because it has more capability in that way does not make it better it just means it's better for that purpose the purpose that I'm looking for is using a three inch barrel pistol for personal defense. And in that context, Hornady advertises that critical defense is actually optimized for shorter barrel pistols. So it may turn out that maybe critical duty would be a better choice for a four inch or five inch barrel pistol, but for a three inch barrel, maybe critical defense is better. Like I said in the critical duty video, not really here to speculate, I'm here to test. So we'll get the answers to that in the clear ballistics gel coming up. Got the critical defense results and they're perfect. Critical defense performed exactly as you would want it to. Shortest bullet was at 12 inches, one at 12 and a half, and we had one at 12 and three quarters, one at 13, one at 13 and three quarters. That's all in the butter zone. Every one of them exceeded the FBI minimum of 12 inches and none of them over penetrated. The Hornady critical defense expanded and performed just about textbook perfect. The expansion is fairly uniform. There was no problems whatsoever. The only thing about the expansion is that these little pedals have a habit of breaking off. And I've seen that in other calibers I've tested, but when they don't break off, they stick out at odd angles, which just makes the bullet a bigger projectile as it, as it traverses the flesh. So I'm happy about it. I think it does a great job. All right, that was fantastic. Critical Defense really passed the bear gel test flying colors. But that's not the whole story because for a proper evaluation of the ammunition, we're gonna have to pass two tests. Any round that passes the bear gel test then has to face dun, 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 the heavy denim. This is a uh, protocol established by the International Wound Ballistics Association. There's really two parts to a proper ammo test. You have to penetrate between 12 and 18 inches no less than 12, no more than 18, through both bare gelatin and through gelatin covered with four layers of this 16 ounce per square yard heavy denim. That represents an absolute worst case scenario for clothing and plugging of the hollow point cavity and interfering with the bullet's expansion. So we've already passed the bare gel test. Now we're gonna try with the heavy denim, but this time, instead of using the clear ballistics gel, I'm gonna use actual FBI specification, professional organic ballistic gelatin. Uh, mixed at a 10% ratio, stored at proper temperatures, shot at proper temperatures, calibrated with a BB to be at the proper density. So we have FBI specification, professional ballistic gelatin. We've got the heavy denim and we've got a round that's already triumphed over the bare gelatin. So let's see how critical defense does in this next test. These are the 9mm critical defense, and we can see that four of the bullets stopped around 12 and 3 quarters inches, 
One of them continued all the way forward to 14, 14 and a half. Permanent cavities left behind by the expansion are pretty massive. The bullets from critical defense through the denim, uh, they got a little beat up, but they did their job. You can see we still got cases of shedding weight on the way through. That's not really a positive factor, but it's very little weight that got shed, so they still did their job. Um, they got beat up, but it doesn't really matter. They all expanded huge. They penetrated nice and deeply. They were very consistent, except for one that penetrated really well. So overall, big thumbs up. Okay, critical defense. Fantastic performance in the bear gel. Fantastic performance through the denim gel. Uh, we're pretty early in the ammo quest because I'm only on my second episode here and I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, we may have a winner. I, I don't know that this will be the winner of the entire ammo quest, but I will say Critical Defense seems to be a winner. It performs fantastic. It's reliable. It penetrated deep enough. It expanded to a nice large size. I'm still going to keep looking because there are many other rounds out there to test. Uh, we may come back to it and say, hey, you know, we found it right on the second episode. Critical Defense was it. But if, if anything, the penetration is a little shallow. It met the minimum. Remember, the minimum is 12 inches, but we really, we have a window between 12 and 18 inches. And really, somewhere around 15, 16 inches is the, is the really effective spot that you want to get to. So maybe some other round will get us up there. But in the meantime, if you're carrying Critical Defense, you're well armed. And... I'm carrying critical defense now. I had critical duty in my gun, and after I tested critical defense, I immediately took the critical duty out and put critical defense in, because this is definitely a much better, more suitable round for personal defense out of that short three-inch barrel. Thanks for watching, and I encourage you to subscribe and like the video if you liked what you saw, and stay tuned, because there's lots more episodes coming up in this 9mm ammo quest.